Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this week, uh, doing some watercolor landscape painting. Technically, I guess it's uh, mixed media because once the watercolors dry, I'll put some soft pastel down on top of it. Um, not a lot, but a little bit of soft pastel. If you watched last week's video, you'll already have seen the final uh, painting. Uh, but I didn't I didn't show any of the process of making that painting. So I thought this week it might be interesting just to share that process. This is not um, a tutorial video. I'm not trying to teach anybody anything. Um, it's just a general interest sort of video. I, I guess I try to keep most of the videos on this channel just sort of general interest. Um, once you get into doing tutorials, then you're trying to teach specific things which may or may not be useful to everybody. Um, so straight away, I think you're sort of narrowing down the possible uh, audience for a video. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is this is just a general video. It's just sharing the process of making a painting. In terms of online tutorials and things, it's definitely changed since I first got into art um, when I was in my early 20s. Um, and that was a few years ago, a few decades ago. Back then, anybody under the age of 30 may not um, believe this, but back then there was no World Wide Web, there was no internet, there were no smartphones, nobody had a laptop or a PC or anything else sitting at home. If you wanted to learn something like drawing or painting, um, there were a few options open, but the one I chose and the one probably a lot of people did was you buy a book or you get a book from the library and you just start reading through it and practicing and trial and error and trying to teach yourself. And that's what I did. Um, it, it kind of worked, I guess, to some extent. These days, of course, um, there's I don't know, thousands, tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of videos and online courses and all these different resources. Some of them free, some of them you have to pay for, but thousands upon thousands of resources, which is great. Um, so anybody like me who's getting back into art, you you're spoiled for choice when it comes to um, tutorials and things. However, there is, there are pros and cons to using a lot of tutorials. And there is a bit of a trap out there, I think. Um, so recently I watched a video on YouTube and the artist was saying that you should stop using online tutorials immediately. Just stop, don't use them. They're bad for you. I wouldn't go that far, um, but let's say there is a bit of a trap. So if you're doing lots of tutorials, online tutorials, online courses, that type of thing, you're essentially probably copying what someone else is doing. You're trying to copy their style um, and the way they do things. Now you can learn a certain amount from that and you can certainly gain experience working with whatever medium it is that you're working with. But after a certain amount of time, you may feel that you're not really making much progress. And that's kind of because you're not. Um, you're not making progress as an artist. You're learning to copy. You're gaining experience with different media, uh, different styles and things. But that by itself, that is not art. That's just an aspect of art. Um, it's something that you have to learn, but it's not the full picture, if you like. Now, different people have different definitions of what art is and what it means to be an artist. I can only give you my definition. And my definition is um, amorphous, a bit open-ended. I find I've, I've listened to a lot of different people and read a lot of different 
um, definitions of art. And the one thing that comes across is that people really don't agree. There's a, a huge variation in how people define art and artists. But anyway, my idea is that art is the process of kind of identifying your inner voice, um, your way of seeing the world, and then sharing that with the world. And that, that's art to me. So an artist is someone who, who does that activity. As I say, different people will have different ideas on that. So going by my definition of art, um, just simply copying other people is you're not learning to become an artist. You're just learning to copy other people. And I think at some point you have to stop doing that and start going out on your own and start developing your own voice and sharing that with the world. And it takes a bit of courage, um, a bit of creativity, but that, that to me, that's art. Now, some people will not like what you're doing. Some people will love what you're doing and some people just won't care what you're doing. Uh, it kind of doesn't matter. You, you, you do your own thing. Um, it's your voice and you're sharing it with the world. And you know, if one other person likes what you're doing, well, that's fine. Anyway, those are my ideas on online tutorials and things. I, as I say, I wouldn't go as far as to say you shouldn't do them. I think they do have a, a purpose and a, a usefulness. Just, I wouldn't rely on them by themselves. And I say at some point you have to start developing your own style and your own way of doing things. This is the final painting. As I say, I showed this one last week. I just put down some soft pastel on top of the, the dry watercolor, especially in the sky. I added a bit just to darken the clouds. I added a few little touches of yellow, uh, cadmium yellow in the distance along that sort of horizon line. And in the foreground, just little dots of blue, kind of cobalt blue, I guess. And again, yellows just to create a feeling or an impression of some detail in the foreground and add a bit of aesthetic interest, I guess. So I guess what I'm trying to say is when you're moving from just copying, just doing the tutorials to developing your own voice, don't be afraid to experiment, and try different things and don't worry. You know, people often worry, um, is this paint okay with this paper and things? You'll find those things out as you go along. Just experiment, try. That's, that's part of the creative process. Okay, we've made it this far in the video. Thank you for watching and listening and hopefully see you in next week's video.